Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. In this episode, oh my name is Hills Dash. In this episode, uh, the B9 mod pack has just had a new release. I think it was just yesterday. But I've been busy all yesterday and today doing trim for my uh, uh, the baby room. So this is the first chance I've had to download it and look at it. And already I see four fantastic new things. A Mark V cockpit. Minimum crew to operate, crew capacity three. Oh, I think we need a hypersonic front section to... Was there a crew on that? Crew capacity one. Nice. And see the thing, <laughs> I love that this one too. This looks good because it's got the front bit that comes out. I love this cockpit. This has been my favorite cockpit for a year, or, well, the year in a bit that I've been playing. And, uh... I love it. It's fantastic, but there's no interior done yet. I don't know why they haven't finished it. So anyway, this looks awesome. I just love this mod pack. So there's 85 new parts. <laughs> so a VTOL engine. Oh my goodness. Well, that would probably be for uh, space planes more. A low profile engine. Ooh. Is it ever? <laughs> oh. uh, see, I, I don't typically like to in install a lot of mods, as you may know. Uh, I have, you know, MechJeb and I had Kerbal Engineer, but um, something about the B9 mods just, just uh, it, you know, hits me right and uh, gives me the, the good feels, if you will. And so, only two new engines, but uh, the VTOL engine, I assume it. It moves. Vectors? No? I won't be able to blame the engine anymore. Your VTLs will still still perform flips of death every time. Interesting. Okay. That looks good. Control. Ooh, Mark II avionics package. I can't put it anywhere on this one, but uh, that'd be something to check out. I don't know what I'm going to be building here. Cargo bays. Ooh. Big cargo bays. I honestly don't... I guess I need a cargo bay. I probably need a cargo bay adapter of some kind. Narrow to, whoa. That's large. Cool looking tail, though. I mean, that looks like a plain tail. They're big. Do you have a tiny head of up here? Hang on a second. Okay, sorry, I was just uh <laughs> my wife's just apologizing. She didn't know I was recording. That's okay. Fuel tank. This is just a liquid fuel. Liquid fuel and oxidizer tank. Uh let's just build a, a vertical takeoff liquid fuel rocket. So, it's got air intakes in this section, and uh, liquid fuel in this section, some ladders, ooh, they seem to be a little bit mixed up in where their things are. The fuel tanks are in here, that's fine, I mean, I think, there's some sort of adapter. Oh, man, see, these look great, <laughs> fantastic. You could put a, a big, oh, that's even bigger than the, <laughs> oh my god, this ship is huge. Okay. I didn't know how big the ship was getting. I've got pages of stuff here now. Don't know what half of it does. This would typically be a, f a tail, but I don't know then. How do you get back to that size? I don't know if there's another adapter for that. Uh, all sorts of adapters and things. Uh, yeah, so uh, the S, is it the S2? Yeah, S2 is the fuselage that I'm working on. So that, that was the original size. I need something that goes back to S2, or S2 back to something else if I wanted to. Anyway, okay, not a big deal. Uh, there's probably, and now we get to these parts, okay. The regular parts that I'm used to. Protective railing. Hmm. Two meter ladder. Okay. 
Oh, it's a very long ladder. Cool. Okay. Just need to figure out a way to power this thing now. Oh, they have lots of new lights. Landing legs. Oh, they're kind of big. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's some potential weirdness with... Uh... Oops, did I pick A or B? No, I don't remember. <laughs> uh, excessively heavy landers. I don't know what the, this uh, extends perpendicularly and should be attached to the underside of your lander. Side of your lander. Oh, see? Pays to read the instructions. Okay, now we need... Oh, there's all sorts of stuff we need. I don't have any power or anything either. Uh, batteries. Do they have new batteries? Uh... I'm in simulation mode, by the way, so I uh, well, I won't feel bad about crashing this thing and killing people because this is simulation. This isn't the real, my real game. Nothing new in science. Aerodynamic. Oh, there are new aerodynamics. Oh, I probably need aerodynamics if I'm calling this thing a. Does this look like? Hmm. Whoa, those are big wings. <laughs> How heavy are these wings? Only mass two. That seems pretty light. Too big. Too big. And now we're back to the normal things. Doesn't seem like there's a... A delta thing for... Hmm. Those are really big wings. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. What's the lift on those? Six. That's, so there's nothing... Nothing uh, excessive? Oh, no, that is a pretty large lift. Hi, Elu. Oh, she's hungry. Okay. Uh, this is thing... I don't know, this thing's kind of wonky. This is... Okay, let's pull them off. Put the two meter wing... wing bits on. And... I need a tail fin of some kind. What's the difference in those, I wonder. Hmm. Hmm. Sure, why not? Okay. And I am not going to be able to control this thing. It's going to be, it's going to be funny. Surely. I've got some intake air from the from this section, so Oh, there's only one spot for one of these. Huh. I thought maybe there'd be more parts around out here. Hang on a second. Okay, uh, yeah, so t what's the best way to figure this out? Um, I need... I need more engines than just one. I'm presuming one won't li lift us off. This thing has a lot of fuel too, doesn't it? Somewhere over here? Is it this one? This one. 1,500 dry fuel, so... Ah, uh, hmm. I wonder if he's got any connectors for multi-engine... Hmm... 
This thing carries liquid fuel and oxidizer too. I didn't know notice that. It's a fuselage adapter. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. There was a fuel tank. Potentially for this uh is that an S2? Oh no, it's a Mark II. I need an S2. Uh, it's got no fuel. Hmm. Well, let's just, uh, I don't think it'll work. There's got to be a way to attach more engines. <laughs> There's got to be some sort of adapter, too, that can switch to something else. I'll investigate that after we attempt to launch it here. Uh, B9 Mark 1, say launch. Okay, it holds. <laughs> Momentarily. Getting up over a hundred thrust, still not moving. <laughs> this thing looks awesome, in a kind of crappy way. Cockpit looks nice, very standard. Nothing really weird or excessive in here. Okay. So much fuel, though. <laughs> Let's try a slightly smaller craft. Okay, back with a slightly sillier, possibly. And I realized I didn't try out the gear before. So here we go, trying out the gear. It looks awesome, <laughs> but it's not tall enough. <laughs> that is, yeah, that's really nice. Great animation. Nice work. Anyway, three engines now. And uh, so hopefully that. We have no air intake. Crap. Okay, I'll fix that. Be back. Aha. Uh -huh. So with the old landing legs, though it barely looks like they're on, they do in fact hold us up. So, and we've got some air intakes. Now, hopefully, no guidance at all. Now, hopefully, we will take off. All right, it's controllable. Whoa, uh oh. Uh, not so controllable. <laughs> I kind of suck at making planes. <laughs> And right back to the pad. <laughs> huh. All right, what do you think of this ugly beast? Uh, I'm definitely not getting any better. Is that even on straight? Uh, it's questionable. I am finding these parts a little bit tricky to work with. Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's their fault or, or just general bugs, but uh, getting the lift profile right on these is seemingly impossible. Anyway, uh, the one thing I did notice, though, is that I really should get some controls on this thing. Uh, check out the, the cockpit. The cockpit is awesome. As long as I'm still somewhat going up here. And I think a lot of these buttons do things. <laughs> Replace before flight. Oh no! <laughs> He's having a good time. Where am I heading here? Just a little nudge this way and this way. And now I've started moving things around, so it's gonna be hard. Anyway, uh, cool display. <laughs> yeah, check the, the numbers out over here. Climb rate, radar altimeter, speed altimeter, speed, heading, hover height. I don't know. 
that might be never avoid counterclockwise rolls or screws will come undone <laughs> replace before flight yeah so this is a classic uh, Kerbal cockpit of course let's see what this says important papers and crosswords nice uh, where are we here what's our actual altitude Woo, getting high uh, let's switch back outside here This thing actually seems to be. Oh, maybe I was. Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, I was gonna say it seemed to be kind of stable, but yeah, actually, I don't know if I had a uh, actual knowledge of how to fly this thing. Or oh, <laughs> that wasn't a burnout. That was just a flat spin for potentially no particular reason. See if we can uh, glide this back. I'm thinking no. Can we spin it in circles? Yes. That seems to be doable. That would be disconcerting. <laughs> Luckily, it's simulation. Okay. Um, what am I actually trying to do here? Got up to over 20,000 meters. That's somewhat impressive. I have, I'll admit this now, uh, after the I tried out Sarah Brown's SSTO, I've been playing with SSTOs and not having a lot of luck. So, ugh, so much fuel. You could easily build a plane that could fly around the world. But I'm attempting SSTOs, so that's why one of the reasons why this looks like it does. But... It's pretty uncontrollable at the moment. Not happening. Anyway, uh, lots of fun parts. Really good mod, for sure. Everything looks great. Uh, you know, I imagine if there's any balancing or or, uh, or issues with anything to do with that, there will be a fix put out, so I'm not super worried. This thing seems to be almost stable going backwards. <laughs> Or not stable at all. Uh, yeah, the other wings I couldn't get to seemingly generate lift. I don't know. Oh, we may have just. Nope. All right, I'll give it some thrust. See if that helps. We don't have many meters left here to fix this. Okay. Pull up. Whoop. Nope. Yep. Doomed. Doomed. <laughs> Doomed to bounce? <laughs> that was a heck of a bounce. Ah, there they go. Yet, though. Yet that still remains. Anyway. Uh, there you go. There's just a quick look. There's lots of other parts uh, to look at. So I would definitely recommend the B9 mod. Um, let's see. Let's just see the the uh, this other cockpit still here. That drone cockpit still there. There are some all sorts of great looking cockpits on top of the one I just built too. Uh, I think these wider bodies require wider planes, like maybe those really big wings. I don't know. Uh, and again, it's hard. I, I just attach the engines on with uh, with those little strut pieces. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching. My name is Hillstash, and uh, give the B9 mod a look if you're interested. Uh, it's found. I'll, I'll link it in the description and stuff. All right. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Oh, I think we need a hypersonic front section to. Was there a crew on that? Crew capacity one. Nice. And see the thing, <laughs> I love that this one too. This looks good because it's got the front bit that comes out. I love this cockpit. This has been my favorite cockpit for a year, or, well, the year or in a bit that I've been playing. And uh, I love it. It's fantastic, but there's no interior done yet. I don't know why they haven't finished it. So anyway, this looks awesome. I just... Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of Kerbal Space Program. In this episode, oh, my name is Hillstash. In this episode, uh, 
the B9 mod pack has just had a new release. I think it was just yesterday, but I've been busy all yesterday and today doing trim for my uh, uh, the baby room. So this is the first chance I've had to download it and look at it. And already I see four fantastic new things. A Mark V cockpit. Minimum crew to operate, crew capacity three. It's just, just uh, it, you know, hits me right and uh, gives me the, the good feels, if you will. And so only two new engines, but uh, the VTOL engine, I assume it, it moves. Vectors? No? I won't be able to blame the engine anymore. Your VTOLs will still, still perform flips of death every time. Interesting. Okay. That looks good. Control. Just love this mod pack. So there's 85 new parts. <laughs> so a VTOL engine. Oh my goodness. Well, that would probably be for uh, space planes more. A low profile engine. Ooh. Is it ever? <laughs> uh, see, I, I don't typically like to install a lot of mods as you may know uh, i have you know mech jeb and i had kerbal engineer but um something about the b9 mod oh mark ii avionics package i can't put it anywhere on this one but uh that'd be something to check out i don't know what i'm gonna be building here cargo bays Ooh, big cargo bays i Honestly, don't. I guess I need a cargo bay. I probably need a cargo bay adapter of some kind. Narrow. To, whoa, that's 